And they're racing and Winterstar got out well. It's right in the middle with Gemini Star and the black and orange racing alongside of that. And final episode is racing inside of those. On the outside of them, Summertime has got speed as well and they're being followed by Icelandic Fires on the extreme outside in the black and the red colours. Then the white cap of Merit's Conceded is racing about a few lengths from the leader towards the inside of the track now as they continue along on their journey. And they're being followed by Rebel Pose is back inside of them, two, three lengths from them and delighted further back in the field as they race their way down towards the uh, 600 metre marker. And it's final episode who is the leader. Winter Star is racing in the blue behind it and they followed after them by Gemini Star is two off the leader. Delighted is looking to get going and then Rebel Pose behind them and they three or four lengths off the leader. Shout Out is also further back on the stand side and that's got three lengths to make up on the leaders and then they will go further back to summer time but it's now Winter Star as they pass the 180 from Delighted is after them as they come into the closing stages it's Winter Star is in control and that's leads away by two or three lengths here Winter Star and the riders taking it easy on Winter Star who's won it well by about three lengths in the end as they cross the line for second Summertime is in there after that maybe uh, after that in the third Delight is going to be in there with Rebel Pose one of those Number 14, Winter Star, all the rage in our opener at the vault today, comes through well to crack her maiden victory at only her second attempt at the at the track. The two-year-old daughter of Skullshaw comes through well under Donovan Mansur, showed good early speed, and it looks like she's a filly that's going to win a couple of more. Yes, um, when we first got in, she was working on that, we thought, oh, she'll be our Winter Star, she'll do well in the winter. And then within like two weeks, we can't believe the difference this filly showed us. And she showed us the ability and she won like she's been showing us at work. I think in time, Don, just on looking at her pedigree, she, she probably will go a little bit of ground. But at this stage, she's getting out there, she's doing what she has to do early and it's a bit difficult to restrain her. Yeah, if she gets a 14, I'll be very happy. Um, I think this is probably going to be her best distance, but Johan will try to get her to stay a little bit. And uh, I must just say well done to Vicky Veramutu, one of my best friends. He has invested a lot in this game, you're going to be seeing a lot of his colours in the next year. Mauritius yes. owner. Yes. yes. A youngster and he's put he's starting to invest yeah? and he deserves everything he, he's put in. Nice for you as well to team up with a young stable, So coming back from Mauritius so early. Yeah, well, uh, when I came back, I made a decision then. I've always rated Jan yeah, yeah, as a trainer. I mean, he was with one of the best, Mr Woodruff. And he's a young guy, I'm a young guy, so we sat down, we said we'll develop something together. And yeah, well done, well done to Jan and to Monique and my wife. They got a little share in the sauce as well. Well done. Congratulations. Matt, continue. Thank you very much. Well done to Donovan Mansur. Johan, well, what a week it's been for you. Three winners. I know you're having your first win mm. last week. It's, it's just starting to roll in. Yeah, Julie, the horses just they all came well together. Um, they look exceptional. They're working so well. And um, just happened to be that we find the right races like so close to each other and the horses are winning. Very, very nice. Now, tell me something. I mean, I know you've been in the game a long time, but it's very different when you're training your own horses and you've got yeah. the pressure on your shoulders. Yeah, Julie, it's a lot different. Obviously, now... Um, when when you're not when you don't train for yourself, obviously you, you think horses will win, but at the end of the day, if they don't win, you just go to work the next morning, you carry on with the job, and the boss has to take the take the pressure. But um, it's very different now. Um, the guys that have a couple of ran on this filly today, and we're glad she won. Um, like Donovan said, was, thanks uh, Mr. Viramuti so much. He's actually bought a good couple of horses for us. Some very very nice youngsters. Um, Monique takes care of Mr. Viramuti's racing. Um, he's she's like racing manager in our country, and um, also Roxanne has got a share, and and Donovan just for for doing the work. Well, congratulations to you. A 100% record today because you only had the one winner. But how many horses have you got at the stable at the moment? Because I'm sure you're going to have a few more owners knocking on your door. Julie, we have about uh, close to 40, including the yearlings we bought recently. So um, not too many old horses, but there's, there's a good couple of yearlings. Well, Matt, continue. Congratulations, Johan. Well done. Thank you so much. Congratulations to Johan Janse van Furen. He's making a name for himself here on the High Felt, a young up-and-coming trainer, and he's certainly getting those winners home now. This two-year-old daughter of Skullshaw comes through, as we said, at only her second attempt. Surely one to watch, and uh, I think she's going to improve plenty. This one bred by our champion breeder, Summer Hill Stud, and well done to Mr. Viramutu. Nice owner to have here in Gauteng, and congratulations to all the connections.